Well, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Scorpios and it's for May 2024 and a little bit over. My dear viewers, my dear Scorpio, welcome to this reading. Welcome everybody. It's all about your money, my dear Scorpio, all about your finances, your work, your career and everything about your money for May onwards. 2024, let us begin by welcoming all of you and seeing what are important messages for every Scorpio to know for May Something has just opened up. Whoops, what happened to it? I'm positive. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I'll put my glasses on to see what this is. It says healing. You are going to heal by far from everything that's been happening in your life. A lot of changes and transformations are taking place. It says true healing of the mind, body, and soul in every way. For those of you who haven't been feeling well, healing is coming. Uh, the letters A will impact you. A for Antarctica, R for Rome, F for France, A again, double A for Antarctica or Alaska. I've got T also here, T for tiger. I've got I for indigo and I've got the Chinese ear of the snake, the Chinese ear of the tiger. We've got triple T. So I feel like a lot of changes this year that are going to heal many situations in your life. From your work, career, money, and everything in between. Let's have a look at the Sacred Forest message for all Scorpio regarding their work, money, career. And we've got love. You are going to be doing what you love and getting exactly what you love with the wild rose. And it shows that you are going to be very successful and setting a time, time aside, like you're going to have more free time. I see a lot of freedom. Maybe you've been overwhelmed with a lot of work and a lot of people, and maybe you're dealing with a lot of people at the same time, people that you love, people that you spread love to. It could be to do with your work, that people are falling in love with you all over the place. You're becoming very popular, but I also feel like you are overwhelmed with work, and I feel like some of you could be overwhelmed with love, love situations. But ultimately, I see a lot of success, a lot of freedom, and a lot of changes taking place from Actually, from May all the way to July. So remember that, July. I'll take one more message from this butterfly spirit. And it says beauty. Some of you might be considering um, doing, uh, improving your beauty, taking care of yourself maybe for work or looking into studies um, to do with beauty or businesses to do with beauty. There is something major happening with beauty. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's see. We're going to take out the tarot and see four important messages for all Scorpio regarding work, money, career. And we've got the hangman in reverse. You've been sacrificing a lot. You've been putting your interests aside and doing for the sake of others. So now it says it's time that you stop sacrificing. This is the time to take for yourself. You've done all the sacrificing. Now it's time for you to heal. Now it's time for you to get a lot of blessings extraordinary blessings coming down in your life you are going to be given a lot of um victories and a lot of luck coming your way abundance is coming so you are going to be healing from all the sacrifices you've been doing something really harsh in your life a chapter comes to an absolute end maybe you're working too hard maybe it was just too much finally something is coming to an absolute end or somebody, or maybe a lot of people, maybe they required your time. Something big is coming to an end. That's why the chapter is coming to an end. You, Some of you might be considering relocating for work or getting a job in a distance or thinking of upgrading your life and living a better life maybe. But there is a thought of this deciding about relocation. Of course, I'll clarify the cards. We'll get to them in a moment. Let's have a look at three important messages. Old Scorpio for May onwards regarding money, work, career. So, yes, there's that ending. So, I'll put the coffin here because the coffin talks about an ending. One more, one more message. Oh, too many, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is really bizarre. Um, why I say bizarre because of what I'm seeing here, the meaning of these cards. Okay. Starting with Coffin, why I start with Coffin? Because Coffin is about endings. And do you see how we've got the Ten of Swords? There's a chapter ending in your life, one major chapter ending. So 
you've got to be very careful when it comes to both of these cards uniting. This could be about financial challenges, but you are going to, your savings are going to become better because of this ending, something ending. There could be a bad investment. You've also got to be careful uh, in regard to a bad investment. But um, some of you are putting an end to your work. Maybe you're retiring. Maybe you're changing. Maybe you're thinking to do something different. There is a major, major uh, transformation. Some of you could be working a night shift, but certainly there is something coming to an end. So that's the coffin. Then we've got the butterfly. And the butterfly is about a sudden change. A sudden change, spending uh, frivolously, like spending in a crazy way. Uh, you won't even need a short-term loan because of how much you'll be spending. Something is making you, because maybe something is ending, it's making you want money quickly and you want to spend and do so much. Some of you are in regard movement. There could be an offer that you might be moving in regard to. Uh, but there is fun work. There are temporary jobs. There are, there's movement. There's a, maybe a thought of buying a new business, beauty perhaps. There is that possibility. The frame is all about steady income and organization. It's also about accomplishments, all that you have accomplished and where you have reached. It's also about self-employment. You see what I said, your own business. There's a chance that you will consider working for yourself. Uh, now, some of it is to do with arts, design, home decoration or um, home uh, oriented uh, situation. Beauty is another one. So I feel like could be a business that you might be considering. Uh, some of you could be doing beauty. And I feel like some of, could you, some of you could be working from home and working night shift. But ultimately, the frame is about steady income, accomplishments, and um, self-employment. Now, we have the wings. This is rising above money issues. You are going to be so doing so well to the point where you will rise above money issues. Business is going to take off. Have a look at that. Business taking off. For those of you who are thinking about starting a business, it's going to take off. There's a lot of profits. Now, in, in some cases, some of you are doing spiritual work, and that is going to thrive also. There's careers in spiritual work, life's purpose, mission, you know, doing um, spiritual work and a lot of counseling, um, spiritual counseling, other counseling, therapy. There's all that. So, a lot is happening there. Now, let's have a look at three more messages and then I'll clarify to see what else you need to know, my dear Scorpio, my new work career for May. And we've got the five of cups. Yes, this leaving, this situation, you are going to be grieving the loss of this situation because I feel like, I'll put this here, uh, the five of cups is about grieving the loss of a situation. And there is something, somebody could be passing. This could also be the passing of someone because we have the coffin and the ten of swords together grieving the loss of sometimes it could be leaving a job you love leaving a place you love but it could be also someone that you cared about it could be passing passing on now there is a proposal as you can see that's why the two of wands is also there it could be a proposal or a proposition that you can't say no to it's going to be so lucrative that you might say yes and just move on move on even if there's a distance you might consider it feeling unhappy and not quite happy this could be also in regard to the grieving while you are grieving the loss of, uh, loss of a situation you might not be uh, that happy but i see the fool as you don't what you don't see coming and the fool is about a new beginning that brings you abundance of freedom and care worry kind of a life so that that's good news now let's clarify everything and see what is happening starting with the sacrifice that you no longer have to um, deal with let's see what this is the truth okay so that this is probably concerning someone of air energy you might be dealing with someone that has air energy with them, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and the options that there are. There's a lot of options. One of the options could be an opportunity that is going to be spectacular for someone very close to you of air energy. I feel like you could have been sacrificing for the sake of this person and maybe you don't have to anymore because some great opportunity is coming and this person might be moving forward and that's going to help you big time. That's a possibility. Um... But, you know, this person has to be guided all the way through to choose what is right. Another important factor here, seeing clearly, the king of swords is about seeing things very clearly to the point where you become empowered to take action and move the way you want. Let's have a look at the Knight of Cups and see what proposal is this. For all Scorpios, 
Wow, this is to do with destiny and the greatest gift of all. Maybe that's why it's happening so quickly. And there's divine intervention, something major and big taking place. Something spectacular actually is taking place. Um, all of a sudden, something magical taking place and you've got the wings which is rising above money issues. But the greatest gift of, great, greatest gift of all is the, um, is the Ace of Cups. So there is going to be a new beginning that's going to bring you abundance. Abundance of abundance. And a lot of happiness in all areas of your life will be thriving. This is a great gift, the Ace of Cups, my dear Scorpio. So prepare for something suddenly out of the blue, but spectacular. Out of the blue, maybe some money will come to you. Unexpected. Okay, so that's that one. Um, yes, what was that? This was where? Did, oh, this came out of this area here, did it? Oh, what you don't see coming? I don't remember what I did. Okay. But um, there's a lot of happiness, that's for sure, from this situation. So, um, yeah, this is wonderful. Absolutely. I'll just see. Um, yeah, the Ace of Cups goes over here. That's what we got. We got these two. You see? I was just forgetting. But ultimately, what you don't see coming is a lot of happiness and a lot of your wishes are going to be established in the midst of destiny bringing you on the greatest gift of all a lot of your wishes are going to be happy and granted and getting your wish you know, the life that you've always wanted so whatever this proposal is my dear scorpio take advantage of it because it's going to be spectacular now let's have a look at the blessings that are coming in which is the four of wands for all scorpio Right, taking a stand and setting boundaries. And this could be dealing with someone of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, letting them know that you're fighting for your rights and you want happiness. And this could be, this is all about you, my dear um, Scorpio, wanting what is right for you and putting an end to a chapter is already happening. A chapter is ending and you're moving on with a lot of rewards. And one of the rewards is this blessing. This is another blessing. A lot of blessings pouring in. This is all to do with this blessing that's coming and bringing you a lot of happiness. And you're rising beyond money. Beyond money problems, this is beyond. This is something really wonderful. I feel like major blessings, as you can see in the illustration, they're hooraying something incredible taking place. Something absolutely uh, magical taking place, mighty Scorpio. So that is incredible okay so yes i wanted to know about the four of um four of wands for all scorpio what are these blessings well first is power and glory and you being in control of your destiny another factor is there could be an offer that you become an authority and nobody can change that you are going to be in a managerial position in an ownership position a proprietor you in control of your life and your journey this is the emperor this is about power and control and authority this is uh, also about a pro uh, great news coming the knight of souls is about great news that's coming and that great news is going to be there could be someone very helpful earth and fire together earth virgo taurus capricorn fire sagittarius aries leo these are in the future like what you don't see coming they are going to be very supportive in regard to this so we're asking about these blessings great news is coming to give you the clear the clarity the power the green light to move forward you'll be able to go and do what you want if it's a business that we're talking about owning your own business you'll be getting if you're waiting for this on documentations to give you the go-ahead you'll have the go-ahead and you're moving forward big time with a lot of authority, with power, and you've got the magician. Everything is going to be so strong for you that you'll be thriving, getting everything you want. Like magic, things are going to fall into space, into your place, into your lap for you very easily. Let's have a look at this Ten of Swords, this major ending. Let's see, what is it about? Okay, so you are leaving, sadly, a situation. The reason you're leaving, sadly, the situation, because it has come to an absolute end. We saw the world before, we're seeing the world again. This shows an end of a chapter. You are going to be elevated, rewarded, and one very painful chapter ends completely and utterly. A new beginning comes, you are going to be celebrating. And there's the Four of Wands again. Celebrating an amazing life, a 
a new beginning that brings you a lot of prosperity. A new project perhaps bringing you a lot of prosperity. Celebrating big time and you've got destiny and the ace of cups where and the ace of. You've got both of these two new beginnings uh, with the four of blessings. Celebrating so much with these aces as you can see this is just spectacular. My dear Scorpio, absolutely amazing. The greatest gift of all and um, destiny and the four of wands twice with celebrations. This is going to be something so incredible. Yes, you are going to be spending like crazy. Things are moving fast. Things are becoming in your favor, working for you. Abundance is coming in your life, changing your life tremendously. So prepare for that. That is amazing. The four of wands doubled up. Remember that. And all these hooraying. Have a look at that. You see these people in illustration. Ingratitude for what's happening. Ingratitude for what's happening. Hands up in the air. Hands up in the air. Ingratitude for getting all their wishes and dreams. And finally and utterly at the end of the day. Hands in the air. And saluting. Something incredible is going to take place for you. And I feel like it's going to be so big so major could be a windfall could be somebody giving you a lot of money gift a job a, a new business that might, might be somebody might buy you a business might 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 buy you a business something so big that is changing your life completely and you might be leaving a situation sadly but you are going to be thriving destiny is going to give you abundance abundance my dear Scorpio this is amazing now let's have a look that that was about the ending so leaving and then being quite happy let's have a look at the two of wands and see what the two of wands is is there a chance of relocation the two of wands talks about a beautiful union that you are going to be healing with someone working well together and together united you are going to be very wealthy there it is the ten of pentacles the ten of cups and destiny so to me it looks like somebody wonderful might be coming your love somebody wonderful you might be a partnership together but you are this could be the greatest gift of all and you're thriving the ten of wealth the ten of cups ten of money ten of um, fulfillment in every way dreams and wishes destiny is bringing on a great gift for you the greatest gift of all so you are going to be yes expanding there is a rebirth for you a new a new life a new a lease of life and it could be with someone wonderful that you are working hand in hand together so you will heal and become strong together let's see the grieving the five of cups what is it that you're grieving the loss of there it is the five of cups itself it came out and what i was asking about the five of cups and the five of cups came um, when you are in the midst of grieving a situation there's going to be a proposal coming it is at that time this proposal you see this one here that's this card here so the, in the midst of while you are grieving the loss of a situation it is at that time where you are going to be i'll put these two together where you are going to get a proposal one that is going to be spectacular one that's going to take you to the next level you are going to forget your grief and plan for this because it's something you can't refuse it is that wonderful it could be emotional it could be different whatever it is you're you are moving forward a lot of secrets are revealed you are going to be empowered you will know where you're going what your path is everything ahead what you didn't see the moon will show you and you'll be um, ready and able to go you will be moving without hesitation my dear Scorpio so that is incredible wow that was very very deep very deep I'm just catching my breath here to see uh, this unhappiness even this four of cups where you are feeling unhappy i will work that out for you let's see will this happiness last what what is it all about wow you know why you were unhappy because you were sacrificing see how the sacrifice turned over how amazing is that look at this i'll, I'll explain to you the four of cups is being unhappy no matter what what happens you're just unhappy a situation was making you feel sad not happy with situation, dissatisfied, okay. Or was in an area of your life that was too much conflict and you felt defeated. That was th that. Another factor that you were sacrificing, putting your interests aside and doing for somebody or doing for others. So that has come to an end because at the beginning, the, a, the hangman didn't come as the hangman. 
it turned upside down. That means sacrifice is over. Now there's no more sacrifice. Now time for you to have blessings to come to you. All that sacrifice, it's time now to no longer sacrifice and a lot of gratitude and a lot of blessings. So the end of sacrifice, the end of putting your interests aside and doing for others, that's over. Now it's time for you to be rewarded. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about great rewards for you, my dear Scorpio. And that's what this is. This is about an end of being unhappy. And finally, it was an area of your life where you were defeated. It had to come to an end. And you are going to be very pleased as this comes to an end and very much empowered. That's why you're celebrating. That's why there's all these great gifts coming your way, new beginnings that will help you thrive and all the blessings that come with the four of wands and all the victories that are there for you. So prepare for something magnificent. Prepare for a new beginning, a new lease of life, a lot of compensation, a life filled with healing and compensation and happiness. Everything you didn't have, now you will have. And also a life of wealth. That is also the truth. A life of wealth, a life of happiness with the Ten of Cups. Where is it? The Ten of Cups. So it, it can't go wrong in every way. Wealth and happiness. And that's what destiny is bringing you. That's exactly what destiny is bringing you. Maybe it will come as a proposal. A proposal that you will not be able to say no to. Can't wait to see what that is. Do let me know. Give me a thumbs up, my dear viewers, if you enjoyed the reading. Let me know what proposal comes. It sounds amazing. And um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and it supports me big time. And also don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end and support me. That also means a lot to me. And that is the end of your reading. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.